Man, it is a mess in here once again. I just cleaned it the other day. What happened? Brayden, what happened? What happened to all the toys? No, it's not just his fault. It was Buzz's fault? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys playing with Legos? Yes. Yeah. You haven't done that in so long? Yes! Are you playing with Legos too? Yeah. Let me yeah. see what you're building. Well, what is that? That's mine. Are you playing with that? Yeah. Awesome. So the Lego movie gets you guys excited about building again? Yeah. Hey guys, look at this. Are you guys master creators? Look what I built. Or master builders? Oh, yeah, you are. Where, where is it? Oh, yeah, they never have a bad one. I'm building my base. I'm building, I'm building like a... It's a pretty big base, dude. I'm building like a house. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. Oh. Why are you wearing red and white? I don't know. For Cactus Sue's birthday. Who? Who is Cactus Sue's? Who? Dr. Seuss, a cat in a hat where you combine the two names. <laughs> it's Cat Seuss's birthday. Is that why you're wearing red and white? Yes. Do you guys do anything special? Nothing. Nothing. Boring. So you guys know I've been watching Brayden for the last couple of weeks because my friend is on bed rest. Well, his dad is a manager at Godiva. And so he brought me home some chocolates, which you guys know <laughs> How I feel about chocolate like I love it but when I'm trying to lose weight it's so hard to not eat it so look there's one two three four oh. five six <laughs> big candy bars and I've already eaten one can you finish those off for me so I don't oh eat yeah <laughs> I can. no problem huh yeah. <laughs> hold on just a second and then Eric buys these at the store the other day, which are white chocolate truffles, and oh my gosh, they are amazing. Can I try one? You haven't had one yet? Uh-uh. Okay, I think there's only like two or three left, so yes, please. <laughs> save one for your brother, though. If there's three, save one for daddy. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah. We have leftover candy from the movie theater, Junior Mints. Um, Eric went to the store the other day with the boys and bought bluebell ice cream and then i still have those half pound york peppermint patties so how am i going to lose weight with all of this junk in my house i don't think i showed you guys i opened them up i haven't eaten any of it yet but i opened it up to show xander because he wanted to see how big they actually were so hold on give me just a second I'm trying to do this with one hand and vlog with the other Check it. Come here. When you compare this to your head, compare it to my head. Look how big that thing is. Holy moly. Where's Jacob? <laughs> there you are. Like, that's as big as your head. You'd probably throw up. Anybody would throw up from eating that. I bite. No. I, I think Daddy wants to do some bite. kind of challenge. Ugh, bite, it's melting. Bite. No. They're the same thing right there. Junior mitts. You can have them. Today is not a sugar day. What are you doing? One <laughs> After having one chocolate and one cookie at school, one, and that is oh, it. Yeah. No more. So the reason I have such a hard time losing weight is because I can't eat anything yummy in moderation, which I'm sure this is the case for a lot of people. I can't eat yummy food that's bad for you in moderation. I can't eat chocolate or candy or ice cream in moderation. I wish I could just take one little square off that Godiva chocolate bar and just be satisfied. But that's not the case. Like, I just want to eat the whole thing. Even though I feel like throwing up afterwards. I can't even do, like, a cheat day. Like, where I eat healthy all week except for one day or even just one meal. Because once I eat that yummy food that's bad for me, I just want to continue to eat it. So the best way for me is just not to eat it at all. Like not even a bite. Just like the other night when we went to Lupe Tortilla and had Mexican food. It's hard to eat healthy at a Mexican food restaurant. I didn't even take one bite of chips and salsa because we all know that that's addicting and very bad for you. I just had two fajitas with a corn tortilla because I'm gluten free but it's also healthier for you than the flour and then some meat and um, onions and you know all the healthy vegetables 
and it was good. So if I can just continue this and have Eric not bring home any junk food, babe, are you listening? Leave that stuff at work. <laughs> Do not bring it home. Are you guys playing with ball in the house? Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a softball, guys. Not really. Yeah, it is. Oh, I got you again! So what's the mission? Seven to three. Uh, if it hits your hands and you don't catch it, and it hits the ground, we get a point or he gets a point. And it's me and Xander against Jacob. So you don't want points. Right. right. No, no, you want points. Like, Because we, we scored seven. He only, he's only scored three on us, so which oh, means okay. he's made us drop it three times. We've made him drop it seven times. Oh, can I touch it? <laughs> but I barely throw it. So. Yeah, exactly. Just, just open the door. door. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You oh, almost God. had it. No. Oh, yeah, this is really dangerous by the fireplace. <laughs> oh, I didn't count. That's just the hands. Yay. Watch out, Zane. He's coming up. It's your turn. Oh, oh, if it hits a couch, like if it lands on a couch, Watch it's so good. So if it hits Jacob in the head, and hits this couch over here and never gets the ground, he, we don't need He's not really by the couch. That's not fair. <laughs> We've done it once. <laughs> Game point for us. So that's the lazy way to play with your kids, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's still playing with them. Oh. Oh. He's making a comeback. It's a nine. Look. It's his ball, Xander. What are you aiming for, dude? I'm scared for you, Dad. Yeah! Oh! He caught it with a sign. Yeah! 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 Is that the name of it? Is that the name of it? You are so mean. What, what, what are you talking about? It's called, it's called ball plaster. <laughs> Her and break something, and then mommy's gonna get mad. All right, so uh, what's going on with the book, dude? Um, well, let me find the page. That's right. Here. All right. Um, these are questions of my of me of autobiography. Okay. I was born in Houston on July third. I was two inches long. And 30 pounds. 30 pounds and two <laughs> inches long? So you were this big and you weighed 30 pounds? Dude, what were you, made of steel? Are you Superman? Are you the no, man of steel? No. Hmm. I'm not iron. I'm diamond. You're a diamond? No. <laughs> oh, you're such a pretty little diamond. No. So what's your favorite song right now? Active. It's not. Everything is awesome. No.